Welcome to AutoCAD tutorials. In this tutorial, we will know about dynamic blocks. When we create blocks, we create them of a fixed size. So usually we cannot change the dimensions of those blocks. But what if we want the same block of some different dimension? In those cases, dynamic blocks are very useful. So to create a dynamic block, let me first draw a simple profile of a rectangle I select this rectangle from here then we have to create the block of this go to this create block select this we have to give it some name suppose I give this name dynamic block so I give, give this dynamic then we have to specify a base point I select this pick point Suppose that is the base point, then we have to select this object, select object, select this complete rectangle, press enter and here on the bottom here is option open in block editor. This time we have to check this and click ok. And now we are in our block editor settings. Here is our rectangle this in black boundaries and here are some actions or the parameters in the block dynamics so I select this parameters here we have some options point linear polar dimensioning XY rotation alignment visibility etc suppose I select this linear from this end point and to this end point give it some distance so that is the distance parameter we have given to this these are the two arrows suppose I want to change our parameter with only one grid or the one arrow so I select this dimension distance right click go to properties on this properties go to this bottom in miscellaneous option we have number of grids I select this number of grids to one it's one and ok close after giving the parameter we have to give it some action go to this actions here we have some options move scale stretch polar stretch it means rotating stretch it means rotate flip array etc suppose I give this scale select the scale so first we have to select scale parameter our parameter is this distance press enter and then we have to select object this rectangle is our object and press enter so we have defined a parameter for our dynamic block and then I go to this close block editor it will ask us to save change so we have to select save the change to dynamic and now we are in our part environment mode from here we cannot see any difference in this rectangle when I select this rectangle we see two arrows here one is a square box arrow one is a arrow style so if I select this square box it will move this rectangle okay so that is the first dynamic block dynamic property that is move property but we have given this a scale property so how does it scale I select this arrow and drag this when we drag this we can see this rectangle is scaling it means it's, when I take it outward its size is increasing when I take it inward its size is decreasing this way I click here and its size is increasing that is the property of dynamic blocks after learning some base this dynamics we add some more relations to this so I once again select this block editor we have to select this current dynamic and ok this time I give it some more parameters I select this parameters suppose this time I give it rotation so we have to define a base point suppose this is the base point and then we have to specify radius of the parameter suppose parameter radius I take 3 or we can take 5 
enter then we have to specify default rotation angle rotation angle suppose i take 15 degree and press enter and then we have to position this angle here we can position it here so that is the angle we have then select this action and select this rotate and select this angle as parameter then we have to select object this rectangle is object and press enter and go to this close block editor we want to save the changes and select this rectangle then we have one more arrow here so if i pick this this rectangle will now rotate also here when i pick this arrow it will also scale so that is the property of dynamic blocks.